Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to talk about John Wick 4. There are spoilers in this content for John Wick 4. Let's go. Right, today I want to talk about what we teach when we're not above the ground. Okay? What we teach when we pass on to the next life. Right? So, brother, uh, so count it all joy, brothers and sisters of the Ico Sahedron. Um, John Wick is an incredible film and it has a large number of lessons for every dungeon master, right? So, uh, what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about the fight between Koji and Kane. So, Koji is the owner of the Osaka Continental Hotel, right? The Osaka Continental, which is this special hotel in John Wick. It has it is consecrated by the table, okay? And in order to be a manager at, you know, at one of the Continentals, you have to be strong, right? Because basically these, you know, these places, you know, cater to contract killers, right? And, uh, like, they, these are hard people, right? Like, you know, and so uh, Koji, he had to be a hard man, and he has a daughter, right? His daughter's name is Akira. So, Kane comes to kill John Wick. Koji decides... John Wick, Wick is not just his friend, but his friendship has trans. His relationship, Koji's relationship with John Wick, he started with friendship and then he extended brotherhood. He considers um, John Wick a brother, right? And so he's saying, the you know the commitment I would give to family, I give to you. It, it's a deep, deep. It's powerful. It's not and. And there's a message here, right? Like, Koji's relation... Koji is willing to lose the Osaka and will, the Osaka Continental and lose his life for his brotherhood with John Wick, right? And so what do we learn as Dungeon Masters? No half measures, man. No half measures, right? You could play... You can play Dungeons & Dragons for purpose or you can play Dungeons & Dragons for fun, which is a half measure, right? Like, you know, so... And you have, you have a choice, right? Like... Every day you have a choice. You're gonna cut a goblin in half or you're gonna cut your own deficiencies in half. Right? And that's and that's the choice every time you pull up to the, up to the table, right? Are you gonna pull up to the table or are you gonna pull up to your to your mouse? It's a choice. The mouse is a half measure. The stream game is a half measure. Right? So make your choices. Don't live in half measures. Go all in, right? Okay. And when I say go all in, I'm not saying go all in. And this is the lesson of Koji. You don't go all in to win. Sometimes you go all in and you're ready to lose. Right? It's it's deep. It's profound. Right? It, it's it's a lesson for every dungeon master. So Koji come, So Kane comes to kill John Wick. He comes to the Osaka Continental. Koji's like, uh, Kane, you're gonna go through me. You ain't getting to uh, to John Wick. Kane's like, hey, John's my friend. You are my friend. I do not want to kill you, right? Kane blind drops Koji, right? Drops him down and lays him low, but doesn't kill him, right? And Kane puts his back to Koji and says, Koji, take care of your daughter, right? Koji's daughter, Akira, is there. She's wounded. She's witnessing the fight. Koji knows this. He knows this, right? Kane says, take care of your daughter, right? He's like, I don't want to kill you. There's no reason for you to die for John Wick, right? But, and, and Kane says, take care of your daughter. Koji then says, I am. And he leaps up and attacks Kane, knowing he will lose. Knowing he will lose. Why? Why? So that his death can have purpose, right? So that his legacy will shout a thousand times louder than his life, right? His daughter is an adult. He cannot discipline her anymore. What can he teach her, right? How do, how do grown children listen to parents? They don't, right? But they listen to our actions. They see what we do with our legacy. They see how we use they we use our life 
They see how we use our death, right? And Koji sacrifices himself to give John Wick another five seconds, but five more to escape, right? And to move on to destroy the table, right? And what's really interesting, right? And actually, not to destroy the... Yeah, yeah. Actually, to counter the table. To make the table answer, right? To change the table, perhaps. Not to destroy it, but to change the table, right? To put different planks on it, right? And so... And and Koji's given his life to give five more seconds to John, John Wick. And one more thing. To teach his jo- daughter... No half measures. Friendship when it is friendship means little when it is convenient. Right? We can choose to make friends brothers. He is teaching his daughter, right? And when he goes against Cain and he loses his life, he has a death of purpose. What does this have to do with Dungeons and Dragons? I have dedicated eight years of my life to high focus on Dungeons and Dragons, the legacy of Gary Gygax. And the reason why I never stop talking about Gary and keep pointing you to Gary is he is a man who shouts a thousand times louder in death than he ever did in life. His name is in every player's handbook, every edition, right? You got Ben from Questing Beast saying, oh, look at this D&D book. Does it have Gary's name in it? go kick rocks. Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition has Gary's name listed in the PHB. Right? The book, the gate you come to Dungeons and Dragons through in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, the now, the D&D now shouts Gary Gygax's name. It honors him. It carries his legacy forward and through Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition right now, Gary's legacy shouts at a decibel that can be heard to the most charismatic, confident, intelligent people in the world. The world breakers, the world makers, the world shakers. Let's live, let's lead lives, lives of purpose. Let's have deaths of purpose. Let's structure our life so that we shout from the grave sh- louder than we ever shouted when we were on this planet. That's what Gary's doing right now. I hear him in Keys from the Golden Vault. I hear him in Dragons from uh, uh, in uh, Dragon Dragonland Shadow of the Dragon Queen. I hear him in Tawn's uh, Tales of the Yawning Portal. I hear him in the D&D PHB, in the D&D DMG, in the D&D Monster Manual 5th edition. Right? I hear him in Storm King's Thunder. I hear him Right? And you can too. Do not lose sight of where where his true legacy is. It's not in dusty, crusty old books celebrated by grognards. It is, it is celebrated by the progressives who embrace Dungeons and Dragons now and face every cultural issue with courage exactly the way Gary did. He shouts from the grave. Live a life of purpose. Have a death of purpose. No half measures. If you call somebody your friend, you are there for them always. Right? And not when it's convenient. Right? And I'm trying to live that up. I'm trying to be a friend that where when it's hard to be your friend, I'm there. I'm there. Right? And John Wick 4 is a beautiful path to better understand Dungeons and Dragons. If you haven't seen this film, see it. It is amazing, right? It resonates at the frequency of Gary. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What matters is when I get to hear your humble opinion. When you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.